Right, success at last. I've been struggling like hell to get a GPS feed into this thing so it didn't keep coming up with alarms all the time. Obviously, like, you know, position's not moving, so that's not a big deal. But I wanted the time and the position in there being fed by NME A0183 standard. And I was struggling like hell to get this done, but I have a solution. Um, after my Simrad GPS decided to go pear-shaped. So here's the solution. All right, we're going on the computer here. I'm running this little program. It is excellent, right. And it's called GPS feed and it's a simulator. So if I just stop it for a sec, no doubt the radio will have a paddy because there's no feed going in but anyway so you set it up uh, on connection serial serial IP put in that that's the important bit because I just put in com5 like which is what it is on a prolific and it wouldn't recognize it there was no voltages coming across at all so you put slash slash dot slash slash com5 48 board forget the bottom bit that's all TCIP um, Make sure that the correct standards are selected, which is in my case uh, GPR or MC, but I've got uh, GPGGA as well. But that all works. Um, and then you go to monitor, and nothing's happening because I haven't activated it. Right, so now you activate it. I've put in my position. Oh, sorry, hang on, I'll just deactivate it again just to show you. Uh, where are we? Um, display general. Enemy A. I'm missing something here. Hold on. All right, yeah, there's your position. Put all that in. Don't worry about range because it's not going to go anywhere. Just put a static position in. And that's it. And then you go back to here and you fire it up. And then monitor to make sure that these values are changing, which they are now. That's fine. So this is connected from the computer through a, um, a prolific USB serial converter into a standard RS-232 which is then coming into the uh, cables here. A bit of uh, testing. There was a few ones giving data out but uh, they weren't recognised by the radio. So, we go to a function, info test, check, interface, animate input and there we go and we've got the data strings coming in excellent no problem at all this is saving me a lot of aggravation because all right i've got the computer running with the radio but everything's running when i'm in here so it doesn't matter so you just cancel that now normally if you go into the This thing here, it would say no position available. Blah de blah de blah. There it is, the position, time, date, everything coming up beautiful. Obviously, I don't want auto acknowledge and auto position activated because, like, this is for listening, um, and like, I wouldn't want to be like responding to any DSC alerts. It is programmed uh, only for transmitting anyway on the amateur bands, so. Um, but that is excellent, it really is. So now I uh, won't get any more alarms. Well chuffed. A lot of hassle, but it all paid off in the end. So, listen to that. FT8's pouring in. So, let's see what we got here. Let's go to one, four, zero, zero, zero. Daft thing is, I haven't got an antenna outside for top band this thing has got a 40 foot inverted L wire on the auto tuner and it will tune up to top band so this gets me on top band and 60 meters as well so it's really really nice a lot of mucking around trying to get it working properly though but um, if we just enter that and then RX Dune
and see if there's anything about. Probably nothing at all. Go past the FTA here. There goes the FTA. There is nothing, nobody. Nobody, at least one SSB station. No, not quite there yet, let's just see. Oh. oh well, happy with that result. Jolly good. Catch you later.